Well, good afternoon. At least 15 tornadoes touched down across the Commonwealth during Friday's severe weather outbreak. Tonight, several local communities are still working to reestablish their lives and routines, including people in Franklin County who were among the hardest hit. According to the National Weather Service, an EF3 tornado was on the ground for 8.2 miles and reached wind speeds up to 159 miles per hour. Three days ago, we introduced you to the Andersons, whose home was wiped out in the storm. 10 News reporter Jessica Jewell checked in with that family again today. In fact, she joins us now live from what is left of their home. Jessica. John, the past few days have certainly been nothing short of chaotic for the Anderson family as they try to come to terms with the fact that this is all that is left of the home they lived in for nearly 40 years. It's a home that's in a tight knit community where everybody knows everybody. So this disaster affected more than just this family, and now that community is coming together to support them in amazing ways. It bothers me. It does. It really bothers me. When your family gets hurt, you hurt. The EF3 tornado that swept through Franklin County Friday morning did more than uproot trees and destroy homes. It broke hearts. That's why hundreds of people have spent the past few days helping the Andersons try to pick up the pieces. They'll have to tear what's left of this home down and build a new one. But in the meantime, they've tried to salvage the items they could and the precious memories that made this house a home. And thanks to generous donors, they'll have at least $37,000 to help them rebuild. Still Monday, dozens of friends and family members stopped by to check on Larry and Dolores, including Larry's uncle Floyd, thankful that somehow no one was hurt. Material things can be replaced. You don't put a value on them, you put a value on your life. Dolores Anderson was inside the home at the time. In fact, she was hunkered down right under these steps. She had to grab onto a pole just to hang on as she felt the tornado sucking her home away. We talked to her today about those terrifying moments and how they plan to move forward. Hear that story coming up tonight on 10 News at 6. Live in Franklin County, I'm Jessica Jewell, 10 News, working for you.